hello foodies welcome back to my channel today i will be diving into the world of a sunrise are you ready to go on this journey with me because i am ready okay of course the first thing thinking about asun um, that you need is your good meat clean washed ready to be boiled i know typically when you have asun you know it's roasted um, goat meat mixed with uh, spices and almost raw fresh pepper depending on where you're from but for this recipe we're going to be boiling the goat meat just because we need the stock to make the rice i cut mine into a medium size just so that it's not too tiny because i intend to still roast it or should i say fry it um in the air fryer or if you have the oven or you have the grill depending on what is easily available to you but to start with you're boiling your goat meat i blended fresh peppers and then poured it into inside just so that it gives it that kick and that spice because you all know as soon as the pepper and the flavor all right so once that is done and is ready, um, you just need to season it with uh, seasoning cubes, salt, and then of course the uh, freshly blended habanero or scotch bonnet, just for the spice. Once that is done, transfer it into your air fryer, your oven, or your grill. Um, I use the air fryer and then my roast option on the air fryer just because I still wanted to feel like I was eating asun or I was preparing asun but anyway you could roast yours on the grill or in the oven as well while that was going on in another pot you have your oil I typically use olive oil but you could use vegetable oil canola oil depending on what your preference is it still serves the same purpose adding your chopped onion and the remainder of the freshly blended pepper Saute that and then add in your washed rice. Depending on the kind of rice you use, it's still the same thing. You, it will get you the same result. Um, I guess the only difference would be the timing or how long you have to cook it for. Um, but then I used long grain rice. Um, you can use the same thing as well since that's like the typically most eaten or used rice. Um, saute that into like the oil and the onions and um, the pepper mix it in just so that it's the flavor is is able to sort of soak into the rice and then um, you pour in your seasoning so your seasoning cubes your salt um, and be mindful because you will still use the salt to also prepare the sauce for the goat mix and whatever that protein um, so once you season it you you add in your stock from the um, boiled goat meat earlier add in water just about enough to cook the rice until it's um, about 90-95% done in another pot or pan you add in your oil add in your chopped onions uh, for this recipe I used shrimp alongside the goat meat you could use another protein say fish um, depending on your choice you could I don't know elevate it however way you want but for this recipe I used shrimp and the goat meat so uh, I added my blended pepper this time around it was just not fresh pepper I also added uh, red bell pepper because I wanted the color um, as well so I added in my my blended pepper added in my seasoning and then of course my shrimp just so that I could fry and cook um, and then my roasted or air fried um, goat meat added into the sauce tasted it to see that it was great and then I once my rice was cooked in the other pot I transferred the sauce that I just made with the goat meat and the shrimp into that pot and then I mixed everything in together once that is done once you taste it and then the rice is cooked you could you might have to leave it maybe on the fire just for a few more minutes to ensure that everything is well done i use cilantro because that was what i could find where i live um, but it's mostly advisable that you use scent leaf if you do have that otherwise any leafy green 
Oh, I need the for greens. This one. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you'll be trying this. You can enjoy this with a chilled, um, freshly squeezed juice or water. You know, water is good for the body. Um, but yeah, however way you enjoyed this, I hope that you'll be trying this recipe and you'll let me know in the comment section if you have questions or if you've tried it out. Until next time, see you. Bye.